All right, we want to get to the action here tonight. So Brandon Reyes, bring out our archers. All right, here's your competitors for the Senior Pro Division. Your fifth place qualifier representing Elite Archery from Spencer, Indiana, Darren Christenberry. Your fourth place qualifier from Waxhaw, North Carolina, representing Elite Archery, Keith Allstrom. Representing Matthews Archery from Rockport, Indiana, Ray Young. Your second place qualifier representing Matthews Archery from Rose Hill, Virginia, Richard Owens. And your number one qualifier from Lacona, Iowa, representing Matthews, Jeff Hopkins. All right, Tony, there he is, Jeff Hopkins. We saw that rewind there. You know, you don't like to root against anybody, but I have to say, I wanted you to hit that 14. Oh, hey, oh boy. <laughs> I would have really liked to see what happened if I would have hit it. <laughs> but we will never know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so the way this lines up, Jeff's got a big lead. If he does what he's supposed to do, hit 10, yep. he's going to be just about untouchable. Unless somebody gets on a roll. One minute. There's a good look at Darren Christian Berry. If you watch our broadcast, Darren usually sits here in the booth with me, and he is out there, and we are excited for him because this is what he's supposed to be doing. And he's going to be getting in more and more of these shoot-offs. He's, he's got yes. this left-handed thing figured out. He has been working on his game. Yeah, he switched from right-handed all his life to left-handed, and now... It is working for him. He just now wasn't we've working. Up, got Hopkins, a little bit of wind said, happening there for a second. Lead. Yeah. And it's dominating the bonus rings this weekend. So Jeff's in with a 10. Yeah, Jeff Hopkins there. Uh, 10 for Jeff Hopkins. Nice He's got his start. son Scott working Next the umbrella Jones, for him. Who is 11 Scott shoots in the open pro division. Richard called upper. <laughs> Well, he's close oh to it. Oh, boy. That is. <laughs> so, Tony, we always talk about this. You know, these are foam animals. Yeah, foam I, is pliable. Richard, it's a 10, uh, but it, this is not like punching a hole in paper. He looked like he was stretching the line, but not quite touching it. Yep. And that's the key. You have to yeah. touch it. He just missed it, so he's going to take a 10 for 414. And we have Ray Young. This is his second shoot down this year. 12 and he's Ray got Young. himself a 12. Yeah, 11 years a pro is Ray Young. Probably the quietest guy on the tour. <laughs> he is a man of few words, that is for sure. Great guy. Keith's changed his medication. Seems to be doing really well for him. Keith Alstrom. <laughs> Keith is for Keith. just to the right of the 12 for a 411. I think Darren Christopher made a very bad calculated risk. He gave up his MC job over here with Cam, and the replacement's doing a much better job. <laughs> 10 for Darren Christopher. 10 for Darren. Moves him to 409. Mike Tyrell giving him a hard time for. Making the shoot down. Or bailing on his responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to have you here, Tony. I know you'd rather be out there right now. There's these are your one, guys. There's only one place I'd rather be at this moment. <laughs> okay. Let's see if Darren's ready yet. So Jeff maintains his 11 point so lead. So wants to stay out there and not come back and do his other job? Uh, 10, right. Ray actually we'll gained one, one point, now. so he's he got did. a 10 point lead on Ray. He hopscotched over Richard. Yeah. And Richard's even got his lucky shorts on out here. He does have his lucky shorts on. <laughs> There's lucky Keith Elstrom. I just love his glasses. Just above there, flips them down. Needs some magnification. I give him a hard time about that. Pretty good 10 for Keith. Darren did call the upper. Oh, 
on that bless bucket, Tony. We've been talking about it. Man, they're just I think he's too high. Right. Chris and Mary, currently at 409. It's just getting so hard to see. Eight for Darren. Eight for Darren. We'll take him to 417. Yeah. Looks like Jeff's got another center 10. Next, our leader, Jeff Hopkins, currently 10 points. Yep, right in the center there. Jeff Hopkins. Which that's, I mean, that's what he's got to do out here. Right. If he doesn't make a mistake, he's going to be tough to catch. It's going to be hard to catch him. Now, there's Richards. That looks a little high. And there's, but there's one. There's two black targets and three brown ones out there. And those hey, black ones. Boy, he's close to the bottom of that one. Boy, I'd like to get a look at that. Oh, that is. I think he's, he's going to give him that one. Yep. So Scott Parrott is our judge out there, Colin. And he says his thing is there's got to be clear evidence that it's out or it's in. And that's the way most of us do score. 10 for Keith. So that's two in a row for Ray. Yeah, he's, making his move. He's maybe trying to make a run like I did at the last one. <laughs> that makes it exciting, that's for sure. Somebody gets on a roll like that. Yeah, you got to cheer for him. He's he's one of the good guys out here for sure. Definitely. All right, let's see if Keith's ready yet. I was going to say, I don't know if I've ever heard him say a full sentence. All right, gentlemen. But, yeah, we got our look here, Tony, at the oh, three. Yeah. yeah, that sun is just a little harsh on that's, our middle one. But that's just a sample of what these guys are dealing with out there. Yeah, look at that target. That is Ray Young's target there, I think. Yeah, we've got Darren Christianberry, Jeff Hopkins, and Richard, Richard Owens, Owens from left to right there. And uh, – Jeff shot. I can't see where his arrow went. Richard called upper. He's just to the left. Just of under it. it. Darren went for the 14. I don't. Boy, that's close. And that was on. The can't see it. That's the Bobcat. Okay, yeah. Keith okay, Keith on the blitz box at 10. 10 for Keith. Now, this is the one. Next up, Darren Christenberry. He went Looking for it. 14. And we don't know the yardage of these targets, no. but they are unknown, and these guys are judging. Oh, that is oh, so close. Just. Man. And so that whole. Yeah, that's an eight. I think that's the right call there. That line is really. It's hard. I mean, you got holes in the foam. It just right. makes it difficult. That was as close as you could be without getting it. Absolutely. He's going to shoot that 10 again and say, come catch me if you can. Yep. Jeff Hopkins just playing. Uh, He's just doing what he should do. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Yes, 10. He's a farmer from Iowa. Unless Ray keeps coming after him, then might put a little pressure on him. Right, yeah. Richard Owens, 422. He's got the coyote there. 10 for Richard. 432. Now 13 points behind Jeff with two arrows to go before the final arrow. Now what's Ray going to get on this doe? Pushing the limit, 10 for Ray Young. A 10, okay. All right, still within eight points of our leader, so gentlemen, let's move to the next All right, party. run through that scoreboard there, Tony. It looks like we got a 445 for Jeff. Second is Ray at a 437. Yep. Still in third is Richard Owens. Then we got Keith at 431 and Darren at 425. Right. So at this point, I mean, we're coming out. We got two arrows in regulation, yeah, but. We, uh, we do have one guy within 10. That's it, yeah. And he's going to keep trying to get some more. And Jeff is coming now to the closest target, the shortest target on the range. Which I'd I, be surprised if he doesn't shoot at a ring. I would predict he's going to try to gun at that 12. Yeah. Maybe to try to keep from the, the sixth arrow from happening. Now. And we got a little wind going on yeah. right now, too. Feels like it's to the archers yeah. left to right. Correct. That's what I'm feeling, too. There he went. Boy, that's in 
Oh, center 10. Center 10 for Hopkins. There's Darren Christianberry. Old lefty. I believe Ray's got a center 10 as well. Richard Owens. That looks like a good upper. Uh, I think he called upper two. He normally goes after them uppers. Yeah. So hey, we've got Ray. Start. So there's Our Ray down Ray on the young. bless buck. Look at his shot. Within eight points of our leader. And Ray. A good solid yeah. town. Very young. Okay. 447. Next, Keith Alstrom. Keith That's another center 10. ten. For Keith, we have a 10 for Keith Alstrom. 441. For Darren Christenberry, still looking for that 14 ring. I don't think he liked that. He didn't like that, too. That's good. the longest target out there. And eight. he's going to take yeah. an eight. eight. That's three straight eights. In Vegas, you're making a lot of money right now. 433 for Darren Christenberry. And now, Jeff, he's got a good safe ten there. Yeah. Makes him to 455. So when we see Jeff shoot again, which we will, he's shooting bow called a Matthews Phase 4, which is primarily known as a hunting bow. Oh, a 12 for Richard, oh, a 12 for Richard Owens, yeah. His lucky shorts paid off. His lucky shorts it got him. <laughs> so he's trying to track down Ray Young now. Yep. He wants, he wants to get there. They all want to get on that podium. So there you see Jeff's bow as he was walking there. It's primarily a hunting bow. Primarily would be considered one, but he shoots it out here. And that's what Richard Owens is shooting as well. With oh, he's shooting the phase four as well. Big, long stabilizers on there. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that just shows you, you know, it's – a bow labeled a hunting bow, that doesn't mean you can't shoot it as a target bow. And we should mention, you know, ASA, there's classes out here for everybody. If you're five years old, if you're 90 years old, if you like to shoot open setups, hunting setups, uh, recurve, crossbows. bear bow, crossbows, whatever, you know, ASA's got a place for you divided by age division and everything. And so come on out by all, all right, means. Here we go. Because these are a lot of fun. Did you notice those rear stabilizers on Richard Owens? I did. <laughs> it's getting contagious out there, I think. <laughs> it is. They had to be 27, 28 They're inches. They're 30s. They're 30s. Oh, man. They're almost as long as his bow. <laughs> that was... Uh, I believe that was Ray Young yeah, on, that the, was Ray. on the links. I just can't see anything on that board. It's... But whoever it was went for the 14, I can tell you that, because it's tall. And it looks like they went for the 14 right, on the Coyote as well. Yeah. They're trying now. Trying to do something. So on the He's blessed got buck, a 12. There we go, Richard. He's moving. He's trying to get into that last arrow. Yeah, he is. And I, yeah. if I think I saw Ray what young. Jeff shot, Ray he young. he is. <laughs> I, I think we're going to have three in our final. Six and final arrow. This is Keith so Alstrom Keith on Keith on this. the long bore. Yeah. He went for it. Oh, man, oh, that wow. is close, but just a little wide. So close. Just a little tall, actually. Yep. There, Scott Parrott turns around the eight. That was a good effort. For sure, on the longest target on the field. I mean, that's half a yard. He's trying to he's get there. on. He's trying to get in that last arrow. <laughs> Next up, he is. Number one in everybody's hearts. Darren tried for another 14 and came up a little light. Yeah, a little low on that Bingo. coyote. Eight. We have a winner. <laughs> that's four eights in a row. Mike talking about how that would play in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. You made my day. <laughs>
But he's really doing what he what he can do to try to fight back he, into that. He is. Oh, Hopkins yeah. took an eight. I thought did he did take an eight there. That's going to definitely bring them other two guys in. We are definitely, in. yes. Yes, so Tony, we are definitely 463 for Jeff Hopkins, 457 Ray Young, 456 Richard Owens. They will move on. Keith Alstrom is going to finish in fourth at 449. Darren Christian Berry, 441. Another good showing for Darren. Absolutely. With his left-handed elite. He just keeps picking away. One of these times he's going to get up there because he puts a lot into this game. So this sixth era, okay. anybody within 10 goes into the sixth era. <clears throat> and um, so this is basically a battle for second. I mean, these guys are yeah. far enough behind Jeff. And uh, second, like we said before, second and third, there's thousands of dollars of difference. Absolutely. In sponsorship, contingency money. Yeah. So... They both really want that they second want place. That. And we did bring out the Wolverine again for our last chance archery, last chance arrow. So we are going to shoot that, and Scott Parrott is moving the shooting line. He's going forward quite a bit. Uh, now he's oh, walking he's back. back. He walked forward. He walked right back. Here. He's still walking. He's going back. Perfect. Hasn't picked right, his Scott. shooting spot yet. What do we got for these gentlemen? Asking them where they want to shoot from. <laughs> He's explaining the situation. I don't know. They're walking there up. There he goes. All right. That's a pretty good distance Last in chance. front of the normal shooting Final line. Row. First up is going to be Richard Owens. And they will get a minute to judge Seven this. Try to get their bearings straight. So and again, this is your podium. These are the top three guys. And Matthew Sweep of the event for the senior pro class. Oh, yeah. So Richard and Ray have to make decisions based on trying to catch Jeff and also not trying to catch second. Yeah. All right, so Tony, you are either Richard or Ray. Well, like I said. Richard goes first. Yeah, Richard's going to set the tone. I mean, if he feels comfortable on that target. He may try to gun at it and try to get a 14 and force Ray to do the same. He may be more comfortable aiming at the upper 12 because that's his game. That's the way he likes to play. And gotcha. it's, it's been a little while for Richard to get on a podium. And I think it's really important for him to get on there. Yeah. He's got that locked up. Maybe he'll just try, try to gun at that for second place. So talk about feeling comfortable where you're aiming. Well, you sort of get a routine of how you judge targets, how you like to aim at targets, the spots you like to pick, the places you like to error. Gotcha. I, I typically like to error to the high side. So I'll aim like at the bottom of the upper and try to get it to climb into it. Right. And that way if you do, if you make a rough shot, it's usually low. Right. Because of gravity, mainly. You know, makes your bo right. bow bobble. Yep. So that's sort of guarding against that. And to your point of comfort, when we're out shooting in the field for uh, qualification, the 14 is not in place. So you Correct. shoot at the 12 a lot more. Yeah. And the 14's way out there off of the core line. Yeah. Above the color break. All right. So the 12 is an easier spot to aim. That's what I would guess he's going to do. Yeah. Because if he hits a 12, Ray has to hit a 12, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 10 doesn't win it. All right. He's Three waving minutes. his hand yeah. for upper. Or no, he said he was ready. But I think he still did call upper. Yeah, Cone's in front of see. him. Yeah, he's calling the upper. Okay. He got his good buddy Joe Pitt out there to yep. hold the umbrella. These two are like a married couple. <laughs> <laughs> Blocking that wind for him. Oh, oh, wow. If he called the upper, the, he's a little Yeah. Light. That's not going to do it. All right. That's but for Ray. on the plus side, really good, really good run yep. for Richard. 66. Ray has to hit the 10. All right, Ray. And when you have to hit 10, it, 
it gets a little smaller. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, yeah. You start to tighten up. You start to <laughs> think about things you shouldn't think about. Tony, I shot the team shoot uh, two days ago, and the last target, all I had, to, all I said to myself was, "Don't shoot an eight. So I shot an eight. It's <laughs> amazing how the the mind works. <laughs> So, hopefully Ray is not right, telling Ray. himself that. Ray has shot really good. He shot a pile of 12s this weekend. Just needs a 10 to take second place. I, it looks like it's at least yeah, a 10. It's at least a 10. I can't see the... Okay, let's see Another good finish for Scott Ray. Parrott. Ten. There it is, 10. Uh, All right. So there, and well, place. we shouldn't, we should say. Jeff Hopkins, now, Hopkins has to 63. hit foam. He has to hit foam. I don't, I don't think he'll be shooting it in the head. No. <laughs> now, uh, this one, there is some stakes on the line here. So. Yep. All right, Jeff. We're going to start your clock. Now. So a five to win, his second in a row, third of the season. Third of the season. The only one he didn't win. Who won that one? Uh, I think little Italian guy. <laughs> and I think he 12 it. Okay. He, he probably did. Jeff Hopkins is our champion. Final score of the 10 of He got a 10. Five. Oh, he did get a Second, 10. Second, Ray Young. Third, but Burrow, 73. And fourth is Keith Alstrom and Darren. Yes, Preston three wins Ray. for this season for Jeff Hopkins. Long, the man. other one was won by Tony Tazza. There's his son, Scott, there. Probably the only person out here on the range besides Tim Gillingham, who is as big as Jeff Hopkins, is his son, Scott. Right. And Scott's a competitor, too, in the Open yes. Pro. Yes, Open Pro class. He, him and his dad have been working hard to to get them both out there in the shoot-offs. <laughs> so Jeff is going to come over to our winner's area. We're going to get a word from him on his second word. Uh, there he is, Jeff Hopkins, two in a row, three for this season. How's that feel? Yeah, I guess like the song, three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, you know, this one was not as harrowing as the last one, however. Yeah, I mean, this one was still pretty uh, down to the wire, and you guess it, this game's crazy. Yeah, out there in the dark this weekend, it's hard to see, and um, just uh, saw great numbers all weekend out there for the most part, but just a few targets. And out here, you come out in the light, it's, it's different. It's, you're trying to be cautious because you don't want to give up the lead, and you want to be aggressive too, and you know, it, uh, a little nerve wracking, but uh, very thankful, very blessed, and so thankful for my family and all my sponsors and everybody that make all this possible. Well, take a look at that monitor there, Jeff. We're, sh we're showing the last shot there. What's going through your mind at that moment? Well, I really wanted to 12 it. <laughs> and it hit behind the pin. So, um, you know, at that point, I'm like, well, I'll hit foam even if I misjudge it and shoot low. But uh, I really want to 12 it in front of everybody. But uh, it's all good. Great weekend. Congratulations, Jeff. Tell us, tell us how difficult it is coming from those tunnels on that hillside to this wide open space shooting at them silhouette targets. It's it's um i in my opinion this is the toughest place to shoot on tour that we shoot um out there the power line has always been a very intimidating factor and no matter how hard i try to prepare for it you can't duplicate that <laughs> so it's tough congratulations jeff all right jeff congrats on the third win of the season back to back hey thanks so much everybody thank you all right, folks, don't go anywhere. We will be back with our Open Pro Archers next here at the True Ball Pro-Am London, Kentucky.